Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today our topic of discussion is acid and bases. Um, as a basic course, we will discuss today about the theory of acids and bases. How theories explain the nature of acid and bases. There are three theories which explains the nature of acid and bases. The first one is known as Arrhenius concept, bronsted lowry acid base concept, and Lewis acid base concept. At this point, you should know that what is an acid? You know, an acid is a substance which donates proton. If it donates proton in aqueous media, it is known as Arrhenius concept. Besides this discussion, you should know that if an acid is present in any media, it will form, it will ionize to give you a conjugate base. An acid will be converted into its conjugate base. In this case, acetic acid is an acid. It is converted into conjugate base. And similarly, water, now in this case, it is acting as a base. It is converted into its conjugate acid. So in all these types of changes, you will observe a pair of conjugate acid base um, from acid and also from the base. First of all, uh, we will discuss uh, the Arrhenius concept of acid and base. Arrhenius uh, concept of acid and base is very important and it is limited to the presence of water. It shows that an acid is a species which can donate proton uh, in aqueous media. So the presence of aqueous media is very important and it, uh, it also shows that base is, an, is, an, is a species, is a compound which can accept that proton. For example, this base is accepting proton from water in presence of aqueous media, so it is converted into BH plus. The solvent play a very important role. In case of Arrhenius, presence of water is necessary. So an acid will donate proton is a proton donor species in presence of water, whereas base is a proton acceptor species in the presence of water. According to theory of solvent system, you can say that the solvent itself has capacity to ionize. This ionize hone ki capacity rakta hai. Jaise ke water, into hydronium ion and hydroxide ion, ammonia, ammonium ion or amide anion ki form mein ionize hota hai. Soda amide, jo ke ek strong base hai, lekin solvent uska ammonia mein hai. Sodium hydroxide bhi strong base hai, lekin water mein soluble hai. In dono compounds mein aap dekh sakte hai ki ye base hai aur ye bhi base hai aur wo water mein soluble hai aur ye ammonia mein soluble hai. Isi, is solubility ki base ye hai ki ye solvent iske saath ionize ho jata hai aur ye solvent yani water iske saath ionize hota hai. Isi tarah ethanol ek aur solvent hai jo ke khud ionize hota hai into its ethoxide ion or C2H5OH2 plus. Yehi wajah hai ke agar hum sodium ke saath iske treatment kare to ye sodium ethoxide banega jo ke ek strong base hai. Jo Arrhenius concept hai wo base karta hai presence of aqueous media base. Jabke bronze state lowry acid base concept to hai, wo thoda isse zyada broad hai. It shows that an acid is a proton donor species and base is a um, proton acceptor species. So there is no requirement for the aqueous media. 
it can donate proton in any media and base can accept proton in any media as i have mentioned earlier that conjugate base of an acid is a species remaining after the acid has lost a proton it is formed like hf apna ek proton dene ke baad conjugate base mein convert ho jata hai sulfuric acid bhi apna ek proton dene ke baad bisulfate mein to ye jo aapko is column mein dikhai de rahe hain ye conjugate bases hain aur inke corresponding acids ye hain बिल्कुल इसी तरह एच सी एल इज अ प्रोटोन डोनर स्पीशी और वाटर जो है वो प्रोटोन एक्सेप्टर स्पीशी है तो वाटर जो है वो बेस है जबकि एच सी एल एसिड है इस केस में वाटर कैन एक्ट बोथ एज एन एसिड एंड बेस क्योंकि इसमें दोनों खासियत होती है अगर आप वाटर को किसी स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस के साथ ट्रीट करेंगे तो ये एसिड बन जाएगा जबकि अगर आप इसको स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस के एसिड के साथ ट्रीट करेंगे तो ये खुद एज अ बेस एक्ट करेगा ये कुछ एग्जाम्पल्स हैं जो कि लोरी ब्रॉन्सेड एसिड बेस कॉन्सेप्ट की एप्लीकेशन को जाहिर करते हैं एच सी एल प्रोटोन डोनर इज एन एसिड अमोनिया प्रोटोन एक्सेप्टर इज अ बेस अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस कॉन्सेप्ट सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड नाइट्रिक एसिड एंड एसिटिक एसिड ऑल दीज आर प्रोटोन डोनर Whereas water, methanol and water, uh, these are proton acceptor species. Alcohols are acidic in nature. However, if they are treated with strong acid, they will act as base. So, it, here these are accepting proton from nitric acid and nitrate anion and methanolium anion uh, cation is formed. so here in this case acetic acid it is donating proton water is accepting proton and these are converted into acetate ion and hydronium ion the last concept is lewis acid base concept which is uh, which explains the acid as a substance which has deficiency of electron so an acid has deficiency of electron that is why it has capacity to accept electron pair so lewis acid ka jo concept hai use hum jo kahenge an acid which is electron pair acceptor species whereas a base is electron pair donor species so jitne bhi acids lewis acids hain wo electron deficient hote hain अब यहाँ पे ये ये कॉन्सेप्ट जो है वो थोड़ा उससे ज्यादा ब्रॉड है जिसमें प्रोटॉन के प्रेजेंस जरूरी नहीं है क्योंकि ऐसे बहुत सारे एसिड्स एग्जिस्ट करते हैं जिनमें प्रोटॉन नहीं होता यानी हाइड्रोजन नहीं होता एग्जांपल है एल्यूमिनियम क्लोराइड और बी एफ थ्री बोरोन ट्राइफ्लोराइड दीज टू मॉलिक्यूल आर इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिशेंट so that is why they are very good electron acceptor and they are termed as lewis acids whereas all those bases which has extra non bonding electron pair like in case of ammonia aniline these are known as lewis bases here you can say that some of the examples of bf3 and ammonia silver ion is also acting as an acid because it is electron pair acceptor species sulfur trioxide which is also electron pair acceptor species in this case so it will form coordinate covalent bond so the very important feature of lewis acid base reaction is that there is formation of coordinate covalent bond between base and an acid so here adduct is formed extending our discussion about this you will see that a lewis acid base concept is very broad there are various lewis bases which has electron pair some pi systems and all those which has electron pair phosphine ammonia water hydrogen sulfide all these are the lewis bases 
the examples of Lewis spaces. Whereas this one is, these are the examples of Lewis spaces. Sorry, Lewis acids. Sorry, these are electron uh, excess in electron. So that is why these are known as Lewis spaces because they have extra electron pair. So they have capacity to donate electron pair. So these are Lewis bases. Whereas Lewis acids are those species which has a deficiency of electron. They may, that may be in the form of metal and a cation. That may be in the form of carbonium ion, selenium ion. And all those cations which has deficiency of electron. And all those molecules which has deficiency of electron will act as electron pair acceptor or Lewis acids. So this was all about the Lewis acid base and all about the uh, acid base concept and their theories. The last point is that the reaction between a Lewis acid and Lewis base is always the formation of coordinate covalent bond. Like in case of water, there is also exist coordinate covalent bond. So this is the end of the lecture.